suggested in fields from cognitive psychology uh, to business. In particular, uh, famously, uh, William James said that everyone knows what attention is, it doesn't need any definition. But still about 100 years later, uh, the well-known cognitive psychologist Harold Bashler said that no one knows what attention is. <laughs> so we're gonna try to find somewhere in the middle, and of course, if there's anyone that knows anything, they're, they're, they're in the business school. So I'm gonna take a definition from uh, the business school uh, arena. So this is from Davenport and Beck. Uh, they, uh, I like this definition. They borrow from the cognitive psychology definition and they add a few things that are useful for, for this talk. So attention, focus, mental engagement on a particular item of information. Item comes, item comes in, come into our awareness, we attend to a particular item and then we decide whether to act. So, we can all agree that we more or less, all of us, we do know what is attention. Uh, BuzzFeed, for example, they know how to capture our attention. So if you go to buzzfeed.com, you immediately are drawing your attention here uh, to the main area. You, you may later wander around, but you first look at this. And I can also uh, point your attention by just saying, hey, why don't you take a look here at the vaguely uh, uh, um, dirty references on the top in the categories on the top. So, you know, BuzzFeed knows their attention. They're trying to capture ours. They're trying to uh, uh, direct our attention in, in various ways. So, attention is interesting. Why is it interesting and important? Uh, there are two criti critical facts about attention. One is that it's limited. Uh, regardless of what we think of teenagers today, their attention is still limited and ours is uh, even more so. Uh, and also it is selective, right? So we can only pay attention to a few things and we select or are guided to pay attention uh, to those things. So 